Take four. Hello guys, my name is Maddie Bloopers and I'm going to be talking about Surface Dog gear I use on a daily basis or what I have used. Um, this is not all the gear that I have. This is just the stuff I've used and liked a lot and gear that I'm making. I have, I, I do make gear. Uh, but yeah. Hey, it's me editing version now. Um, in the background, you can hear my fan. I always have it on because, again, I live in a hot, hot climate and I don't want to be dying. Um, you can kind of hear it like blowing into the mic occasionally. I've edited it out the best I can, but I apologize for that if it's annoying. Um, but yeah. Oh, his name is Boulder and he is one and a half years old. He's still got some training to do, but he's medical alert and mobility. Um, but I wanna talk about things I use on a daily basis or did use on a daily basis and some training tools, grooming gear, stuff. So first I have this uh, Paw Shoppies harness. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but this is a basic Amazon, hi, yeah, this is yours, or was, um, but this is an Amazon harness, I think it was around $35, I, I do not like purchasing them from Amazon, just because I feel like fake service dog users are just like typing in on Amazon, and that's basically, uh, I just, I don't know, but this is just a training harness we used, um, and my sister is right now using it on her dog. That's the only thing I would recommend is, because you know your dog's gonna grow out of it. It's affordable, so that's why. Don't knock my camera. Um, that's why I would recommend this. Okay, so I don't know how many takes I've done with this, but let's continue. So this is a vest I made for Boulder. And that's going to be a common trend that you see. I don't have many vests or harnesses um, just because I just started it. And also, like, I'm trying not to be a hoarder. But this is a vest I use. And it is a service dog vest that I made. It has, these patches are from an Etsy shop. I'll put the name up here and also a, foot, a screenshot of their um, Etsy shop. But it says service dogs are like boobs. It's rude to stare, touch, or photograph without consent. And these are holographic ones. And then I had service dog, do not distract on both sides. I kind of like my vest to be pretty minimalistic. Nothing too much, not too big. Um, but I really like this one. This is good for like just slapping it on him and going. The only thing I don't like about the S is that it makes your dog super hot. And I live in a hot climate. So it just depends on you. But yeah, it's Velcro. And I don't know. It's I think it's good for if you have a, if you have a service dog to learn how to make vests because it's more affor affordable how and better. I think for the environment, but yeah, it's just a good vest. Okay, let's try this again. Um, so this, I'm gonna talk about the harness first and then we'll go into, oh, well, let me talk about, it's a full set. There is a, uh, this is a Y front harness, um, but it can also go into just a normal guide harness. This is by Hey Doodle Gear, or Hey Do Gear. I'll put the name up and put a photo of their Instagram. Uh, I really love this harness. Um, these are pretty expensive harnesses, but they're made out of biothane. He's smelling his stuff right now. He's like, I'm naked. What are you doing? You're confusing me. Um, but. I really like their gear. They're very expensive though. This is a trial harness or a redesign. So I got it for a cheaper price. 
Um, and she, I don't think she does many of them. Um, but I really love this harness. You can customize the designs and colors. And I got a collar that matches. This is her one and a half inch bio thing collar uh, with reinforced rivets. Um, this is a very nice collar. I'm trying not to show uh, his identification, like his pho phone number and stuff on it, but it's just super nice. I really like it. And the thing is, is you can just hose these off. They get dirty and it's not going to get smelly or stinky. And then he has like a matching leash. This is a crossbody leash. So, and it has multiple, these can slide. These little things here, there's fur attached to it, but these can slide and it's adjustable. The only thing I have a little bit of a pet peeve about is that it was my fault, not, not the person who made this. Eight feet, not eight inches. Which the downside, or well, not the downside, um, it's just a little long for personally my taste. <clears throat> well, the next thing I'm going to show are two training things I use. Um, this is what I have family members in my family who are, are sort of service dog trainers and this is what they recommended um, for me to use on him. So first I have a Springer pinch collar. Um, I like this a lot. Um, the only thing about it is you have to buy a separate little clip that protects their trach. Or you don't have to buy it separate. There's a, like a trach plate that comes, but you have to pinch this to get it off. So my brother for my birthday bought me a little clip because I was struggling with the normal thing or the pinching this and sliding it out of the trick plate thing. I found that very difficult and very hassling. So yeah, I like this a lot. I, I, it doesn't hurt him at all. Like it doesn't bother him at all. Um, it's just because he's a big dog. I like never typically have to do a correction on him. Um, but it's just a safety precaution just in case, like, um, if he were to get spooked or scared or whatever, I would be able to have more of a control over him. Okay. Next thing I'm going to talk about is another training device I use. Um, is an e-collar. I have never went higher than 50 on the bolt, uh, on the controller on this. I've never had to. The only reason why was because of an, was it a deer? It was a deer that he was chasing after. Um, he is bred to hunt deers, so we're still working on that. He's still pretty young, but this is what I use. The highest I typically go is 12. This can go up to 100 in 72. So this, it's like a tap on the shoulders for them. Like, it's not even dangerous. And again, it has a biothane uh, collar, and it's by Dogtra. It's just, and I had to get an attachment for this because I found out he's allergic to the metal. So it's like an attachment that my dad attached for me, and the controller. It does have a vibrate mode, but he absolutely hates that. And I don't ever do that to him. The only way I discovered it, that he hated it, was by accident. I clicked it and he was like, nope, nope. And I felt really bad. I gave him a bunch of cheese. I told him he was a good boy. But he got very insecure about that. I just mentioned that the dog Dogtra e-collar I use for when we're going on off-leash walks. Um, he typically stays right next to me, but just in case, I've taught him like if there's a car coming, he needs to go to the side of the road. I, I hardly ever have to use it, but 
yeah, I, I thought I should mention that. Like, I can walk with him in a store without a leash on, and he's pretty much good. Um, this, not what I'm talking about, is a traffic lead. This is a one I got off of Amazon with my old dog. This is like the perfect length for him just to go on normal walks. I have poop bags on it because this is like his everyday leash for going on walks. I know I said it. I'm sorry. Um, I got this off at Amazon a long time ago. Probably like eight years ago with my old dog. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. This is super nice. <clears throat> Also, another thing I'm going to talk about from Amazon are these treat bags. They're silicone treat bags that have a clip in the back and are magnetic, so you can just put your hand in like that. Mine is damaged from, um, I left it on a patio up at our camp and mice got a hold of it and they chewed the silicone. This has been cleaned and washed, don't worry. Um, but. Yeah, that, that was completely my fault. Oh, my battery thing is a little open. Oops. Um, next I'm going to talk about is brushes, stuff like that I use. Okay, sorry about that. My camera had battery exhaustion, so I had to change out the batteries. Um, so it was running low. Um, next I am talking about or was talking about until the camera cut me off, um, were um, clippers. I Since he's part poodle, I have to clip him. He's a doodle. He's a wolf -a doodle, Irish wolfhound, and poodle. Um, so I use these. I got a cheaper set off of Amazon. I hated them. Me and my mom were like, these suck. They would get stuck in his fur, and it would make it harder and harder and difficult for me to cut him. So I decided to ask for my birthday a better set and I got one. And it came with a metal comb, scissors, clippers, guards, oil, everything you needed. So I'll link that down below. That's what I would recommend. Um, it has very good reviews on Amazon. It's electric. It has a charging dock too. So whenever you need it, you can pull it out. Um, but that's really it that I use besides like metal combs and stuff like that like there's not much else that I use for gear I will show you something I am working on I can not find oh well let me speak first so initially I wanted to get a attachment for his hey doodle gear harness to have a Cape that would attach to it that would have pockets because I have been carrying around a backpack with my water, his water, his documentations and certifications and his vaccine records and all that stuff and I was like I am tired of doing that. I'm waiting for more patches to come in that are custom order that says I faint, it's normal, please do not call 911 unless I am injured um, and stuff like that. But this one has pockets. I'm, again, waiting for those. So it's not done. Like, you can see here and here. Like, it's it's not done at all. But it would go right behind his harness on him, and it will attach. And if people want me to do a tutorial on how to make either one of these, I can. Just let me know in the comments. And then in here, I have some patches from Amazon, like Medical Alert, Do Not Distract. I am not here for your entertainment, I'm here to do my job. Um, just like a basic set, not all disabilities are visible. Uh, service dog, if handler is down, do not separate, do not call 911 unless injured, give us space is another one that I have. Uh, medical alert, service dog. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but our team colors are teal and black. Um, and white, so, oh, and, hold on, and I forgot, um, I have a, this is from someone in Orlando, my sister got it for me, 
for my birthday. Um, this is a bandana that goes over his collar. Um, I typically, I have a tractor that I use. This is my sister's dog one. Um, it's by Tractivia or something like that. Um, and I put this on his collar to hide it just in case if someone were to try to steal him, they wouldn't know that he had a tracker on him. Um, I really like it. It has his name on it. I think I want to get one in the same pattern or whatever that um, says service dog on it. Guys, it's editing me here. Um, I forgot to do an outro. That was gross, buddy. He just burped. Uh, I forgot to do an outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll answer them. And yeah, hope you have a wonderful day.